The head of the Israeli Defense Forces Intelligence Research Department is accusing Syria of using chemical weapons, and he says an escalation of violence is increasingly likely. Brigadier General Itai Brun said the Syrian government has used chemical weapons against rebel forces on several occasions. According to CBS, this is the first time Israel has accused the Bashar al-Assad-led government of using non-conventional weapons. General Brun claims photographs of victims show constricted pupils and foaming at the mouth, signs that indicate the use of lethal chemical weapons. This comes on the heels of accusations of chemical weapons being used by both rebel forces and the Syrian government in the country's ongoing civil war. But it's worth noting that while it has been confirmed that the Assad regime does in fact have a stockpile of chemical weapons, independent observers have yet to confirm whether rebels are also using them. These latest accusations could push the U.S. to step in. Just yesterday, U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said in Israel, We, the United States, along with Israel, have options for all contingencies. And certainly the Syrian government's use of chemical weapons would be a game changer in crossing that red line. But the New York Times points out President Obama has been more cautious when it comes to intervening in Syria. When it was first confirmed the Syrian government was moving weapons, Mr. Obama said he didn't consider that to be crossing the line. He noted crossing the red line would mean transferring those weapons to terrorist groups like Hezbollah. But there's still no evidence of that happening. The BBC reports a UN group is looking into the chemical weapons claims. Britain and France have also announced they have evidence that Assad's government has used chemical weapons. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy. Multiple sources, a broader view.